these orange ribbons, tied all over Montezuma, have now seen three seasons. From summer searches... The overall goal is to find Xavier. ...to the quiet depths of winter. There's still not a day that we don't pray for them. There's still not a day that we don't think of them. Samantha Ricks alerted authorities back in May that 10-year-old Xavier Harrelson was missing from the mobile home he shared with his mother. In a new interview, she reveals more details about her search that day. I'm not sure how many trailers into it where my question turned from, have you seen Xavier, to when was the last time you seen Xavier? Because everybody was like, no, I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him today. Four months later, on September 30th, the farmer discovered his body in a field just outside Montezuma. The 10-year-old still dressed in his pajama pants. What can you tell us about the autopsy? There's really not a lot yet that we can discuss, um, mainly because it remains unsolved. And so we're continuously working with the state medical examiner's office and state anthropologist. <laughs> The Iowa DCI says they recovered all of Xavier's remains, but won't publicly reveal a cause of death. We do like to keep it close to the chest mm -hmm. because there's probably only one person, one or two maybe, you know, out there that, that knows what happened. The crime still leaves many traumatized, including Rick's son Kyle, who was Xavier's close friend. He will not play outside. My seven-year-old son will not play outside. Vigils and benefit concerts rallied people together, but the pain is still there. Montezuma needs a voice. Montezuma suffered through that whole thing, and it's, it's, still, it's still pretty touchy. Xavier's mother has remained quiet, declining interviews, except this one in August during the state fair. Do you have a theory, an idea, or where he could be? God, I wish you did. Sarah Harrelson has faced backlash for not calling police right away. What do you want to say to people that have maybe questioned you or wondered why you I have nothing to say to them because I know I'm right. Investigators were hoping for a break in the case in October. Federal agents executed a search warrant at this home in New Sharon, and DCI agents stood nearby in case there was a connection to Xavier's case. That federal search warrant is still sealed. You hope that there's a connection and you hope that you are starting to be able to connect the dots. Um, we haven't ruled that completely out. The DCI says agents still work the case every week, reviewing and reanalyzing people's statements. Rick says she was questioned again in January. I have nothing to do with this. Um, I, and I know that, you know, so it doesn't bother me, you know, that they come to me for information or opinions. Her focus, she says, is on remembering Xavier and what he gave to the world. It was such a joy to be around. You know, his smile, I'll never stop talking about that smile. And authorities will not reveal if they have any suspects or who they are keeping a close eye on, but say they are actively following up on dozens of leads every week. Now, if you have any information, no matter how small it seems from those days surrounding Xavier's disappearance in May, authorities want to hear from you. You can call the Powashi County Sheriff's Office at 641-623-5679. Stacy, Laura, thank you.